Welcome everyone to another episode of Test Chamber. We're taking a look at Atlas's The Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I have Aram Jabari here from Atlas. Uh, yes, that's right. And we have Joe Juba, who's going to be making some funny commentary, hopefully. Oh, great. Now, now the pressure is on. On the spot. On the spot. And playing the game, Jeff Marchiafava. Hey. How's it going, Jeff? Good. I ate his liver with some Marchiafava beans <laughs> and a nice Chianti. Has anyone I, ever done that, Jeff? Just you, Aram. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? No, it's good. Yeah, you can't tell me that no one's ever made fava bean jokes. No, no, I've heard fava bean. Oh, okay. no. it's it's a fantastic legume. I, uh -huh. I feel. <laughs> yeah, in the same way that everyone who says Juba the Hut to me thinks that that's that's like that's, the first. That's the first just time. not even clever, though. Yeah, yeah, that's. In order to combat that, you have to get like the build of a Zangief, <laughs> or a, you know, just like and be like, "What? Excuse me? What? Do you see these shoulders? Oh, you already have pretty large shoulders, Joe. Yeah, on, on yeah. I, I need some like scars from bear fights and stuff like that. So, Ram, what is the story about here? Who's who? Who is Holmes going after? What's is it an artifact? Is he going after a nemesis? Something like that? What's so interestingly enough, even though it's called the Testament of Sherlock Holmes, you never play a Sherlock. No, I'm kidding. Um, so <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, everyone watching probably knows who he is. Uh, this is the the latest in the long series of games that this developer's done. The last one was Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper. This most recent one is billed as the darkest Holmes adventure yet. But basically, the beginning of the game, a little sequence we just skipped. Um, Holmes is called. Called in to you solve a case exactly that uh, the police can't. Stolen necklace. He finds it, and it's kind of, you know, it's all done, right? Like but uh, no, the you next morning, Watson, he he kind of just has. Uh, he's talking to Watson about the newspaper because Watson's seen the story the where necklace, they're accusing him of, of handing in a forgery. Come in and, hmm. and so did he steal it? They're saying his reputation's called into question, um, oh, and, and this is kind of where Mr. we pick off, pick up here. How did you know I was here? You are one of our rare visitors who oh, avoids the So that guy's a jerk, right? I can tell by his hat. No, 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 the stuffy inspector. He seems like a he seems like a stand up guy. Belt. Uh, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Inspector? Have you read that, Rag? So when do you get the Iron Man armor? Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't think that actually uh, it doesn't make it into this one. That's the sequel. Yeah, that's probably. the sequel. Yeah. That's uh, Joey, we're gonna get Jeff Bridges for that one. I don't know. I've, I've been watching a lot of the the BBC true. Sherlock Holmes series. It's fantastic. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. And well, one of the interesting things is that they adapt so much of what's from the books, but in a way where, like you know, the, the scene where the episode where he's, he's shooting the the wall in, in boredom. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, all that stuff is it's from the books. And Arthur Conan Doyle, for anyone who hasn't read the Sherlock Holmes mysteries, they're they're still as, as fun to read now as they were when they came out, but the, the, the BBC series is awesome. Yeah, yeah. One of the things I love about it the most is that, like, it actually finds a way to integrate technology in a way that isn't, like, that isn't super weird. You think about, like, old detective stories and stuff like that, and that, like, the, the sort of modern ease of accessing information, like, via, like, cell phones and internet and stuff, sort of makes... The, Makes the sort of traditional stumbling blocks in those mysteries kind of fall apart. The, te the way the texts are shown, I think, is particularly yeah. cool. Uh, yeah. No, no cell phones in this one. This is this is period period based, as you can tell by the uh, it's a old timey home. Old timey. Ah, I'm fine with Victorian homes. that you have the fake necklace with you. So, um, one of the the cool things about the game is. Indeed. This is the first like Sherlock Holmes adventure game that's built from a technological standpoint from the ground up for this generation, for HD hardware. So yeah, the, you can tell you have great mustache technology in this one. Great mustache technology. <laughs> and you know what? They, they, this, this time, this period, the mustache is just such a big part of it. So you can see, um, I mean, if we could really zoom in there, the every, every aspect of the mustache has been tightened up really, really greatly. Uh, the environments. It's, it's a big part of a, of a Sherlock Holmes adventure. Holmes. Forgive me the for detail and when you're examining you a crime examine scene, a crime scene, for example. So you'll What's see there's a lot of, and it's out of the elaborate detail. So we're going to check this necklace out that uh, we're accused of having really stolen or forged or whatnot. Forward in this appalling article. If you How dare they? Hmm. Shame on them. You don't sound British enough when you're in your How dare they? <laughs> One cannot simply <laughs> accuse Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Theft. I'm gonna light him on fire. Are there, are there beans on the table? There's no beans on the table. That's not very British. Oh, looks pretty good to me, right? Right, guys. Is it okay. all he's gonna do is just shake it? <laughs> That's right. It's just, it's this real. is a forgery. So, I have six cents. This is a. So yeah. So there, in, in most of the cases or most of the uh, situations, you'll have a, a a way to just kind of bring up things that you may miss. And this um, is a different color. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sure that's normal. If you overuse that, the game actually small. gives you a, a medal or a, an achievement here. for your... For being um, dumb. For 
<laughs> well, I mean, I didn't want to say that, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that achievement. These three pearls are of poor quality. Too many defects. This necklace is a fake. Ooh. This is nothing but a vulgar copy. And at a glance... So we can probably skip through a little bit of this dialogue. Um, how could we have been fooled by I'm sure one of those buttons skips it. I don't know. I don't yes, how... I have absolutely... Oh, yeah. Here, let's fill in the let's fill in the dialogue. Oh, we we've got to go to the, the next part of the game. <laughs> oh, we should change good. locations. Hmm, very good. Right, yeah, call the bobbies. Yeah. I like crumpets. All right, Holmes. Uh, so you will alternate between Watson and Holmes, and what? this is just a very simple. It's early on in the game, so you're kind of introduced to this mechanic. Uh, cool, Jeff, you did. That. I was just going to say you can switch between first and third person. I I prefer first person for examining environments. Um. You need to grab the the map off the uh, the desk to the right. See, if you're in first person, you don't get to see that wicked vest, though. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Very true. There you go. I have found your map. What did I say that was an easy enough challenge. <laughs> so go to the you're really good at this, Jeff. Bridge. Yay! I didn't even have to use my sixth sense for that. <laughs> You did have a rhyme tell you exactly where. To find <laughs> <it>. <laughs> that is true. Ah. Good point. It was the butler in the. <laughs> Boudoir. What? That's not Sherlock's hat. The police? Already? How did you know? May we see the Bishop of Knightsbridge? Yes. Yes, of course. Isn't he supposed to be wearing that, Come in. you know, the Sherlock hat? I should probably point out at this point uh, that this is a gruesome scene. So if at any point uh, anyone is sensitive to I'll close gruesome my content, I, I you it was last probably want to look away. I only just arrived. And I have made this macabre discovery. Rated M for You're setting it up. It's going to be like a surprise oh, party for Holmes, right? I have no <laughs> idea. How did you know? There's a dead person in this room. Oh, that's, that's nothing oh, new to this series no. either, though, right? Yeah, the no, last exactly, one was very much, really Jack mature. Ripper, exactly. Exactly so. Mutinated and killed. He was such a good man. So there are aspects of this game that opens things up. You know, you have the choice in terms of how, the He's order in which you want to tackle now. things. Your map expands. A lot of the areas, like Whitechapel Street, are, they're pretty large. They're pretty they elaborate. And, you know, it is a linear adventure game. It is uh, a tight story. And it's, it's really about that tight story. It, you know, it, it's it's dark. It's about Holmes' descent into into potential madness, really. I mean, as he's further and further questioned. And um, it seems like all the forces are really against him. But... Um, um, in a lot of ways, you have a lot of options that you, you, you wouldn't in, in other in older no, adventure games. I am Sherlock uh, it's really an evolution of the Sherlock Dr. Holmes series. We are here so is this is it based on any sort of existing Sherlock Holmes story? Good question. This is actually a, an original story. Um, it, 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 uh, some of the previous games have been based on you know, parts of books or whole books, but this is an, it's an original story. Then out of the question. It would be better for everyone, Reverend. If so we you skip, kept skip a little a few more lines of dialogue. So oh, I'm jumping ahead one. here. Jolly good, Pip Pip. Let's take a look at that body. And right, now, now right. it's it's our and yeah, let's let's Okay, so this quickly, um the, the this we we're introduced to the deduction page. So we're able to click on things as we identify them, and then we can kind of learn facts from them. As you look at a few things in the room, there'll be more entries on this page, and then it'll kind of extrapolate further and further to the right and hmm. I don't think they had blue markers back then. <laughs> uh, they, I think they would. Uh, oh. They would kill peacocks and grind up their their blue feathers. Historically that's probably, inaccurate. That's probably not. I'm accurate. done. Well, if you're gonna show that much midriff, you kind of <laughs> deserve to go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, he's got. Ugh. He's got some problems with his fingers. No. Oh, Andrew fingers Reiner will beat people. you to oh, death if you're not wearing enough clothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that finger. Finger stuff is the hard for me to look at. It's a little that is rough. Violently I don't think it quite is supposed Guys. to look like that. I think he was tortured. His stomach is covered in scratches. <laughs> uh, quite let's not jump to conclusions here, Reiner. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's use our so, deductive skills first. That was some super sleuth thing right there. I don't want to rule anything out. He might have just fallen down. I think the chair was trying to eat him. Uh, that's as far as I've got. All right. There is blood on this paperweight. This paperweight was used to yeah. crush the victim's uh, fingers. Mm. Drink the scotch. Of whiskey. Hmm. I can make out fingerprints stained with blood and dirt. So, Jeff, I'm going to actually let you kind of explore the room. I'm not going to tell you specifically what to go for. And, and I think we'll probably, this is, this is a bit of a, a lengthy examination. We'll probably end up cutting, cutting off somewhere in the middle of this. But it gives people an idea of the, the, the detail and the oh, environments. Okay. Um, no, and it is a it grab that. <laughs> use it. Yeah, use. 
in uh, in a little bit, we we'll, we can go back to that this menu, Jeff, and check out the, the, the deductive the reasoning. Is. Okay. And it shows you really how cases it's evolve. It's a cilice hmm. designed to bruise the person wearing it. The bishop wore it as repentance. A lot of instances this when you're pious man must have had the habit of interrogating uh, characters, um, witnesses, and things like that. You can make choices in dialogue that will either make your life easier. Or, or, or maybe you'll make a mistake and you'll actually miss out on a potential shortcut. But there are a lot of times things that you'll do will have an effect on the, the way and things play out, not necessarily where they end up. What do you think, Jeff? What, what, are, your, what are your thoughts so far on, on what this could be? I'm thinking it's a suicide. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tried to kill himself by mashing his fingers with a paperweight. Mm -hmm. That didn't Bold. do the trick. Bold. Reverend, I'm missing something. An implement. I need to use the word implement more in my day to day yeah. vernacular. No, go to the you need devil. to implement that in your vocabulary. I need to use go to the devil more in what my day to day vernacular. That's nice. I'm not afraid of anything. In fact, I do have the necessary implements, but if I have to give them to anyone, yeah, it's a good word. I know, right? Yeah, whenever you say implements, though, you have to wink and be like, ha oh, implements. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, wink. You have no right to search here. <laughs> oh, there I seems to be a. Jerk. Something on the ground. A broken file. 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 Hmm. You may not have examined story. all of him, by the way. I just... Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. All right. Very Aram, insensitive. Um, Aram wants it's to see some kind of game. <laughs> We're going to need to flip this corpse over. <laughs> the magnif If you click on him again, you'll notice that you can actually kind of pan up and down. You can, you uh. can run the length of him. That sounds bad, too. Um... The magnifying glass changes green when you've examined something. So if it's blue, that means you still haven't looked you there. You can see by his expression that he suffered terribly. And he was his old. His mouth is covered in blood. <laughs> and I can make out <laughs> oh. of skin between this his This is teeth. terrible. Oh. He's a zombie. <laughs> oh, that's... I didn't even think of that, Jeff. His chest has Brilliant. been lacerated, I would say, with a very it was sharp and fine blade. <laughs> Tiger claw! Okay. Case okay. closed. You got it. What do you think, Joe? Hugh Jackman so is, he does have, he can speak with a British accent if he wants to, so it's possible. Oh, wait. So let's, well, let's go back to the menu. I think it might be Y on your 360 controller. Uh, and by the way, the game is 360, PS3, and PC, and you can play on PC with a 360 controller, PR spiel, and, um, no, yeah, go to the deduction. And so there's a few things that, oh, you can go down, go down. There's a few things you found. So click on chest. Uh, okay, the murderer's unable to open uh, the safe, Need to know. Penitence, uh, mortifying himself. Hmm. Keep going down. I wonder if we found enough yet to kind of open up. Eh, maybe not. Flask. Oh, okay. So it leads to uh, a, a something we have to kind of deduce. Put on the top. Hmm. They're vampire near. So is this game pretty linear? Like it's you got to go piece by piece by piece by piece, or can you miss things? Can you alter things? There For the most paths? part, it's it's linear. You can uh, advance without finding everything. The games, a lot of the games' achievements, a lot of the rewards are based on how how much of a completionist you are, but. Um, you won't be penalized for, you know, Watson won't be like, Holmes, you've embarrassed us all. We're closing down the business. <laughs> like, terrible. Uh, that won't happen. Um, you, you will, however, I, I, you will, you know, miss out on some things, on dialogue and a stuff based on scalp, kind of how effectively you, you do there your job. There isn't any doubt. The wounds on the bishop well, were that's administered pretty with You know, scalp. I'll just point you towards something, Jeff, real quick. And maybe we can end with this, because I, th I think up until this point, it's given folks a, a good example of the game. Uh, by the door, if you look on the ground, there's some there's some soot, some dirt maybe uh, to the right, to the door the door you came in, actually, on the ground. There you go. And uh, this, this is kind of a cool... What do you think, Holmes? Oh, I this think place needs Holmes. to be cleaned. There you go. Watch where you're putting your feet, Watson. Have you noticed these prints upon the ground? Watson yes, didn't notice them. Um, Watson, you <laughs> ignorant <laughs> slut. <laughs> it's Watson's feet that are all dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I pace a lot, Holmes. Yes, if you know how to make them talk. What you, what, who, who, does anyone here have a mustache? I mean, I know you have a goatee, Ryan. Joe, Joe, every once in a while, has a, a, a sometimes mustache. Sometimes I, I, I do like a beard. I don't actually... What are your thoughts on the mustache? I'm, I'm thinking it's mostly it's mostly a kind of a child child predator <laughs> porn star kind of look. I, I, Sorry, Joe. I, I really well, No, no, I really can't do this. Tom Selleck... Tom Selleck, classic. He, but he's kind if of. If you a, can rock it, size. Even size, Alex Trebek it. shaved it off, though. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can pull off just a normal mustache. Size, I nine. only do it when it's like, like, I do it for a day when I'm shaving off my beard or something, just because it's kind of funny. But, mm, that, of that's shoes, about it. And it seems recent. 
It is not. I, yeah, I, I, you know what? I, you, you guys aren't able to see Joe as he's a sitting here, but he has such a gentle aura <laughs> that I, I don't really see Child Predator when I imagine him with a mustache. Oh, well, thanks, Aram. I, 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 I appreciate Poppy the more I sincerely mean that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to throw out a hint here, Jeff. If you examine the shoe neighbors. print that's on the left and in the upper right, you'll notice that they're actually nine and a half um, with, the, with the measuring tape. That's not a hint. That's just telling him what to do. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Jeff, put, Jeff <laughs> take the measuring tape. I'm the Watson of this. The one in the middle, the middle on the left. And I'm the upper Lord. right. Thanks, and if Jeff. You, Thanks, if, Jeff. If you viewers house. out there buy the game, Aram will join you in in your house and tell you how to play it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, okay, you're going to so be very busy this year. You, yeah. Okay, so there's some questions you could have answered. It's okay. We don't need to. Anyways, Sherlock, trust me, Sherlock Holmes. You know, I, yeah, that's that's that gives people a good idea, I think. And when is it coming out? Well, it comes out no uh, September 25th, 9:25, uh, PS3, 360, PC. Um, you know, you've seen just a snippet of it here. It's it's a huge. It's really the biggest, best looking, most technically advanced, um, technologically advanced Sherlock Holmes adventure yet. And we're really excited for fans of the genre, fans of the books, fans of the the movie series, the TV shows to check it out because it captures that. That mystery solving, that crime solving, that that dark kind of tone, really, really well. Sherlock killed him, though, right? Uh, it w <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't want to give any spoilers okay. away, but that's that's uh, my theory. Ch but. Choked him with that fake necklace, probably. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Aram, for Absolutely. showing us this. Thanks, guys. Joe and, and Jeff for joining me for this. And uh, let's cut here, and we're just going to go grab that corpse and pretend that he's playing that organ over there. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you next time.